They have the cones already set up and the volunteers flagging to let you know where to go. You could start shifting your food that way. The traffic might mimic something you'd see here on game day. Come on. And there is loads of food. It's really awesome. It's great. But the stands are empty. And this is certainly no ordinary Broncos tailgater. This is the first time we have ever distributed food to 2,000 families in one place. Food Bank of the Rockies, along with the Broncos organization, are repurposing the parking lot at Empower Field. We looked at our parking lot and obviously our stadium is closed, our facilities are closed. What could we do as an organization that would still help? Because access to food is critical right now. All you have to do is pop your trunk. You don't even have to get out your car and they'll, they'll load it up for you. Edwin Coriano has an 18-month-old son and a five-year-old daughter at home. We have thousands of people that lost their jobs. So, um, and you also have people that still haven't received unemployment. So this is a great benefit, you know, for people not to go hungry. Dozens of volunteers are stepping up like Dudley Aguilar. I'm thankful to be helping to come out here to help. It's also a war against waste. While farmers in other regions of the country are forced to plow under perfectly good produce they can no longer sell, Colorado is determined to prevent the same thing from happening here. Colorado has a later growing season, so we have not seen any kind of food waste here from our farmers and ranchers. We certainly don't want to see anything go to waste. A tailgate party to tackle hunger. We know so many people are hurting right now. It's a great blessing to have something like this available, uh, because if we didn't, can you imagine how many people would be starving right now? At Mile High, Russell Haythorn, Denver 7.